Hello and welcome to my channel, On The Hook Crochet, where we talk about wearable crochet style. And today let's find out what's on the hook. Today is a Hobie yarn review. A little while ago, a very nice lady from Hobie uh, contacted me and asked if I would review some of her yarns at Hobie.com. That's H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. I'll put that down here at the bottom of the screen. But she invited me to review some of the yarns, and I was glad to do that. So I'm doing that today. I'm going to talk about five or six different yarns here that I ordered. It was my choice of the yarns that I ordered, so it was very sweet of her to do that. And uh, they came, and I opened them up, and I made swatches from each one. I crocheted some of each yarn. I wanted to show those to you today, so let's get started. First of all, it was so sweet of her to add a few little things to my order that I could show you. Now, these are not free. These are sent to me by Hobie and along with the yarn. And one thing that they have I thought was really interesting is the wool needles that they offer on their site. This is, these are wool needles, and they're made from aluminum. They have a, um, a clear loop at the end and you pull your yarn through the loop so you sew with the other end of the needle and here here are the bottoms of the needles these are just darning needles they're not sharp so these are basically darning needles but they're very interesting they're three different sizes and I'm going to try these on my next project I haven't tried them just yet but I want to try these these look like a very nice product and they're called wool needles aluminum and they're on the website also she sent these crystal buttons to me. Aren't they gorgeous? I will definitely be using those in something. <laughs> it's just Hobie crystal buttons. So I wanted to show those to you as well. Also, everyone who orders, I believe, gets a piece of Hobie candy. And here it is, the Hobie candy. And I haven't opened it yet. I'm excited to do that, but I haven't opened it. And um, I'll taste that and maybe let you know how that is in another video. But I really like that idea that you get a piece of candy. And I've heard other people talk about getting their pieces of candy from Hobie. So that's just a little extra that they put in every order, if, I'm, if I understand it correctly. So let's get started on our yarn review for Hobie. Now, the first yarn that I ordered was Metallico and I've heard about this from a lot of people. This is Metallico beautiful beautiful yarn and I'll tell you just a little bit about it while we're looking at this. This is a very shiny beautiful yarn and in the colorway I there are only there are probably 15 colorways that you can choose from and I'm going to show that to you on my computer screen in just a few minutes. We'll look at the colors that this actually came in but it is 70% polyamide, 21% acrylic, and 9% merino wool. It's a lovely, lovely yarn. It's a size 4, 125 yards on the donut. So that is what that looks like. Here it is open without the label on it. It's just beautiful. They're all different shades of blue and a little bit of tan in there, but it's all metallic. It's very, very shiny. So what I did was... I came up with a scarf pattern. <laughs> I think I'm going to release this, actually, but um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. But I do love the way it's turned out. This is um, um, a little bit of an easy pattern. It's a scarf pattern, and this is what it looks like in the Metallico. So it's really beautiful. I just love the way that looks. And it's shiny and very, very easy to crochet. I don't knit, so I don't know what that's like, but it... It is extremely easy to crochet. It doesn't split, and the finished product is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. There's a lot of good stitch definition in there, and when you make a scarf like that, it's just beautiful to look at around your neck. I really like that. So I haven't uh, completed the scarf. I only have it about maybe two and a half feet long so far, but it's gradually getting larger, and then at some point I will begin to decrease. And so it's going to be um, a scarf shaped like that. Middle piece will be bigger, and then narrowing down to the ends. But I wanted to show you how that looked as it was crocheted up. So very, very beautiful. This is Metallico yarn, again from Hobie, and I won't be talking about any other yarns today but Hobie because it's a sponsored video. 
and that is what I received from them. I actually have five balls of this and I was a little bit greedy with that but uh, I wanted to have enough to do something with so I ordered five balls of that and on each ball are 125 yards so that gives me quite a bit of Metallica to work with and it's a size four so it'll go a long long way. Again that's Metallica. Really love that yarn. It's so beautiful. Now another yarn that I ordered was Tweed Dreams tweed dreams and it's a um, beautiful beautiful yarn again tweed is one of my favorite yarns it's 100 percent acrylic and uh, on each ball are 109 yards so these are 50 gram balls so you can order as few or more or as more as many as you want these are definitely easy to work with and um, I really like this yarn. I, it's a number three weight so it's a DK weight. Again it's Tweed Dreams by Hobie and this is what it looks like made up. I made a small swatch of the um, Tweed Dreams and this is what it looks like made up. It's really beautiful. I did a, let me turn it on the right side here I did a half double crochet and then a double crochet, a triple crochet, and a single crochet. So I tried all the different stitches with this. All of them work beautifully. I used a, uh, I used an H hook on this. That is not the recommended hook. I think the recommended hook might be a little bit smaller, but I'm a big crocheter, so I really like to use a larger hook. But I think that the 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 half double crochet and the single crochet would make the um, the best fabric for a wearable. This row right here and this row at the top, of course, the single crochet. You could probably do a single crochet, chain one single crochet with that and it would turn out just really beautifully. I didn't try that, but it is um, a really nice yarn. It has a nice look and I like the dark specks in that. So you could wear that easily with jeans or a navy skirt, something like that. And that is the Tweed Dreams. Also, I was very adventurous and I, I got out my Tunisian hook in a J, J hook size and I decided I was going to make a swatch with it and I just kept going. It was so much fun. And this is what it looks like in the Tunisian stitch. And it's a long piece. I, I did a long piece. In fact, I was thinking of doing a sweater out of this and I may still do that. I've got a pretty good start here as far as the width. I think it's a 24 width so that should do all right for a sweater but uh, that's what it looks like in the Tunisian stitch. Very beautiful. See your vertical stitches right there. Those of you who understand Tunisian stitches there is a vertical bar on each stitch um, in the regular stitch side and this is simple Tunisian of course. Simple Tunisian. So I really like the way that looks. Beautiful for a sweater really really pretty. So I did that with the J hook Tunisian and this calls for I believe it calls for um, a G hook but I used an H hook on this swatch so either one you can just adjust your hook sizes I'm never one to say you must use a certain size hook because everybody crochets a little bit differently and for my patterns of course they're they're totally your measurements but I will say that the patterns on Hobie, and we'll, we'll look at those in just a second. There are lots of free patterns on Hobie that you can um, download and use those for the yarn that you select. So it's a great deal. I love the Hobie side. I've been on it quite a bit lately, just kind of doing some research. This is the Tweed Delight. This is Tweed Delight, and the colorway here is Pink Confetti. Isn't that cute? I really, I, that just jumped out at me when I was looking for yarns to select for this particular sponsored video. So I picked the pink confetti and this is what it looks like in the swatch. In the same swatch that I used for um, the other the other yarn, the Tweed Dreams. Um, yeah, the Tweed Dreams. This is the Tweed Delight. The Tweed Delight. And again, it is, let's turn it on the right side, Jeannie. <laughs> This is a uh, double crochet, a half double crochet, a triple crochet, and a single crochet row, and about 15 stitches for each one. So that'll give you a good idea of what it looks like when it's crocheted. 
I used an H hook on that to get that look from the Tweed Dreams. So there you go. I also ordered that in Tweed Delight, which is the Pickles color. And there it is right there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's Pickles color. And I will put a link to all these yarns in the description box. If you're interested in them, I will put a link down there to these. Now, last but not least, I ordered two twisters. And twisters are a huge ball of yarn. These twisters have what I love. I love, love, love this. This is an easy start label. And it's attached to the end of the yarn. It says easy start and you just pull that and it comes right out. You don't have to dig around in there and try to find the end of the yarn. I really don't like doing that, but I've figured out how to do it on some of the yarns, but these yarns have an easy start, so they're real easy to find the end. And this is the same scarf pattern that I use for the Metallico yarn, but it's in a tiny yarn. Look, isn't that cute? It turned out really nicely, and I did it the same exact way, all the way up. And if I continue this, it will be, you know, a good size scarf. And the colors in this, this is the Galaxy Glaze color, number four. And that's what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Galaxy Glaze is the, is the colorway. And each cake has 1,093 yards. That's huge. That's plenty to make a scarf or uh, even, maybe even a sweater. I'm not sure if that would have enough on it, but you'd have to make a top-down sweater because you want to start with the dark, uh, the dark color at the top, keep going around and around, and that'll give you this colorway like this. You would end up with navy at the bottom. And if you needed it all, I don't even know if you would need it all. But this might be a frog and finish project. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But this, this um, yarn is a beautiful, beautiful uh, cotton and acrylic. It's 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. Again, that's Galaxy Glaze. Galaxy Glaze. And the number is number four, the color number. They don't name the, the colors on here. I went to the website and found the color name, but the color number of this is number four. And it's a number two yarn. It's a number two yarn. So look at that. It is, I love the colorways and there are so many on the web in this particular type of yarn. This is called Twister and there's also a Twister Summer and a couple of other types of twisters. So this is just the regular Twister, cotton and acrylic 55% cotton, 45% acrylic, and that's what the label looks like right there. It's a Hobie brand yarn. This is a recommended size E to G hook, so you could, you know, just try whatever you like. And again, it's a number two yarn. It is a hand wash and lay flat. Hand wash and lay flat, which I would certainly do with something this delicate. Very, very beautiful. Twister yarn by Hobie. And then there's another one that I ordered. This is the colorway Blue Velvet Lace, the same type of yarn, but this colorway I really loved. It has a pink center, and then it graduates out to blues in different, different shades. So really love that. It's the same price, $37.40 a cake, and the color number is number 38, and it's called Blue Velvet Lace. Very, very beautiful. And this is what it looks like made up. I just did a regular swatch in this and these are just the stitches, uh, treble, treble stitch with a single stitch at the top, single crochet, treble, half double, and double going down. So I'm going to leave that there for a second let you look at it. That's what it looks like crocheted up. Very beautiful. And that's just the center color. As you get toward the outside edges it just gets more beautiful I'm sure. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous yarn. Now, all of these yarns are, um, they're, they're tested for chemicals. And I know you've probably heard other people talk about this, but it's Okeotex. And I've got a couple of notes here I wanted to tell you. It's a worldwide organization that tests yarns and fabrics and all kinds of things for harmful substances. And these have been found to have none in them. So you can 
uh, crochet or knit with confidence. You can be assured that when you crochet a garment in any of these yarns that they are safe to wear against your skin. And I'm sure some yarns have chemicals of all kinds in them and you just never know what you're going to get. So let's take a look at the website. I'm going to show you a couple of things there. Here's an example of a web page. Now this is the Metallica web page. That was the first yarn that I showed you. And here are all the colors that you can um, choose from right there. Look at that green. It's absolutely gorgeous. And we can swim through. That's what it looks like. Knitted in silver sapphire, for example. Jeans blue metallic. Rose pearl. Espresso, which is, looks like a very dark brown. There are some various colors that it's available in. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. This is probably my favorite of all because of the shininess of it. I love shiny, shiny yarns. They're really beautiful. And over here, if you'll look at this part of the web page right there, you can see that the regular price is $6.10 for a donut. But if you buy several, then you get quite a discount, 16% discount if you buy five or seven or 10. So you can really get your price down there all the way down to, looks like 368 a donut. So that's not bad. And if you're making a sweater, you're gonna need more than one ball. You're gonna need several. So you might take a look at that as well. And here are all the colors that the Metallica comes in right there. So gorgeous. And when you roll your uh, little mouse over it, you can see the name of the color, sky blue metallic, for example, there. This is probably, let's see what this one is, dark gold, and on and on. So you can check that out when you go to the website. This is hobie.com. And also, they have free shipping from $99. So if you buy $99 worth, you can get your free shipping from Hobie. So let's, let's go here and take a look at the free patterns. Here's a free pattern page. This is one of many, many pages of free patterns that they have on their website. And it starts out with Amagurumi. Love this little cuddle bear. So cute. There are some cotton pads that you can make for your bathroom. A basket right there that you can make. Um, these are all free patterns. There's a cow, Amagurumi cow. And there's another one. There's a sheep. Um, there are baby hats. There's more amagurumi. There's a bunny. There are all kinds of things that you can make on here and using the free pattern. So be sure to check that out when you go to their website. There's also a bingo site that you can go to. You can play games here. You can do fun things with Hobie. So be sure to check all that out when you go to the website, hobie.com, H-O-B-B-I-I.com. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my yarn review of Hobie Yarns. I only had a few types here. But I think overall, it's a very good company. I've heard great things about them. And my experience has been wonderful. I love all these yarns. They're really great. And you can try them out if you want to on Hobie.com. I'll put all the links down in the description box. And you can click on those and look at the, the yarns that I chose. And there are lots of other yarns to, to choose from as well. And one is a cotton Hobie yarn that everybody uses is rainbow yarn. And I've ordered some of that on my own to uh, make another people's pullover. So I just wanted you to know that. I will show that as soon as it gets here. But I also wanted to show you this cute yarn tote bag that they sent me for um, sponsoring my video. Actually, it's so beautiful. I'm, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I was going to give it away, but I think I'm going to keep this. It's a very sturdy, beautiful canvas bag. And look at that. There's a there's a crochet hook and knitting hook, knitting needle, excuse me, knitting needle. So uh, they've covered all their bases. Really like that. That's so cute. You might have seen that on my thumbnail when you clicked onto my video. So again, thank you for joining me today. Be sure to check out the links below. Go to Hobie.com and search around. See if you can see something that you might like. So uh, again, thank you so much for joining me and join me next time to find out what's on the hook.